In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a navigation structure in WordPress and restrict what people can see based upon their logged in or logged out status. There are many reasons why you want to do this, and it's very easy to achieve with this simple and free plugin. So let's just jump into WordPress and take a look at how we can do that. I'm Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. If you'd like to support what we do around you, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below if you're looking to purchase any other products we support. As always, it costs you no more money, but it gives a small percentage back to the channel and helps us create more great content for you. So what exactly is this free plugin? Well, it's called If Menu. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we're just going to go through, install that, and I'll show you how easy it is to start working with and how you can start to control your navigation. So once that's downloaded, we can just simply activate the plugin, and that's going to give us some new options to work with when we create menus. Now that we've activated that and jumped back into the plugin section, we've got some settings we can configure if we want to, and we can access those. If we come up to Appearance, you can see we've got a new option called If Menu. If we click in there, you'll see that'll take us over, and you can see we have the option for the free version, or we can go through and we can pay for the premium version, which gives us some more options. Now, I'm going to keep it simple, and we're just going to stay within the free version, because this should be more than enough for most users. So how do we use it? Well, it's very easy. If we jump over to our Menu section, click in there, That'll take us over and show you all the menus we have on our website. So what we can do is we can come into any of those menus and we can start to apply conditions to them. So let's just say, for example, the My Shop, we only want people that are logged in to access the My Shop section. What we can do is we can expand this out and you can see we now have an option that says in Enable Visibility Rules. If I click on that, that opens up a second option and we can now start setting the different parameters that need to be met to show this particular menu item. So before we apply any rules, let's just jump over to the website and take a look at what we have in the navigation structure so we can see the changes when we start to apply these visibility rules. So we jump over, you can see my shop is plainly evident for anybody whether they're logged in or logged out. So let's just change that. Let's come back in and let's just say that it's only going to be available to logged in users. So we can click and expand and you can see now we've got all the different options that allow us to control the visibility. We're not restricted to just using one, we can actually stack them on top of each other and we can build up more complex rules. So let's just keep this really simple and say is logged in. So we're just saying that if the user is logged in to show it. If we wanted to set this to hide, we can easily just choose the first option and set that to be hide. If we want to add in additional options, we can simply click the plus and then we can see and or. So we can create conditional logic on top of everything else. But for now, like I say, really simple. So let's just come back in and save this. So I've jumped over now to the test website, and as you can see, because I'm logged in, my shop is still displaying to me. I can tell I'm logged in because the logout option is on the right-hand side of my navigation, telling me that I only have that option available because I'm logged in. So let's just say I'm going to log out, and once I log out, you'll see I really want to log out. Yes, I do. We're going to jump back, and now we no longer see the my shop option because I don't have access to it based upon the fact I'm not logged in anymore. So if I want to get that back, I can simply come back here to sign in or join, and that'll allow me to log back into my account, and then we'll see it again. So let's just do that. So once I log in, you can see my logout option is back, and my shop is back. So it's very easy to set up. Now, that's just a basic, simple rule where it's either logged in or logged out. But what if you want to make something just a little more complex? Let's just say you want people to be logged in, but they have to be of a certain level. For example, a administrator or a subscriber or something. Well, we can do that as well. We can build those conditions up quite easily. So let's just jump back over to the dashboard, make sure we're logged in, and take a look at how we can add a second condition in. So we come back over to the dashboard, you can see the navigation structure as we've set it up. We've now got a visual representation of the fact that we have some condition applied to this. So you can see my shop says if is logged in. So it tells us a condition has been applied. We can expand that out and we can now add a second, third, fourth condition, whatever we'd want to do to make it more complex. So you can see at the moment it just says show if logged in. Let's click on the plus and we've got the option for and or so we can set up various different types of conditional logic. So we're going to say we want to meet the two conditions. We're going to say they have to be logged in and they have to be an administrator to see it. Otherwise, you don't see it. So let's just say that's fine. Let's just come back out of that and we'll just hit save to make sure that all those changes are committed. So we'll save that. You can see it's now updated. It tells us there's more than one condition applied. So we can again see that there's more sort of conditions being applied to this particular entry. Now if we jump back over to the website and I'll log in as a different user with a different level. So at the moment, 
I'm logged in as administrator and logged in so I can see the My Shop. If I log in as an editor, for example, I won't see it even though I'm logged in. So let's just do that. So now that I've logged out, I'm just going to log back in as my new editor user. So I'm going to click to join. We're going to put the right details in and we'll just drop the password in there. And we'll say log in. And now that I'm logged in, you can see that I still don't see the new shop or my shop menu. And that's because I'm logged in, but I don't meet the level of user to be able to access that particular function. So you can see we can build it a simple conditional logic, build one step on top of another, and then it'll show it and set it up in such a way that it just makes it incredibly easy for us to use. Obviously, if you want to get a little bit more in depth with it, there's the commercial purchase version, which you can take a look at if you need more than what the basic version gives you. But I think it's one of those plugins that really does help sort of separate the basic sort of structure of WordPress and give you some great functionality if you want to control what people can see based upon the navigation structure on your website. Now it is worth bearing in mind that all this does is show or hide navigation structure. It doesn't restrict access to those pages. So if you have to do something like that, then I'd recommend taking a look at some kind of membership plugin that has to have certain levels of access to get into those pages as opposed to just showing on the navigation. So just to give you a perfect example, I can still access my shop even though I'm logged in and I can't see it, I can still access it if I know the URL to that particular page. So just bear that in mind. But it's great for things like login and login log out sort of functions which are part of WordPress and you want to give access or hide those or just show the relevant link to the person that's either logged in or logged out. I hope that kind of makes sense. Anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. It's a completely free plugin. The link will be in the description below. Download it, test it, check it out, see what you think of it, help support it, spread the word and so on. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please smash that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified, and give it a thumbs up if you liked it, or a thumbs down if you didn't. It all helps. As always, if you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or you'd just like to say what you think of it, or if you found a better solution for this, please pop those in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation started. Let's talk about how we can expand WordPress and get better websites for everyone. As always, my name's been Paul C, and this has been WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.